Hey guys, so today I thought I would share with you the books that I want to read in April. I did pick nine and I didn't realize that I'd pulled out so many until I sat down to film this video, but I am really excited about all of them. Some of them carried over from my TBR for last month and then some of them are also from the books that I have out from the library. Both of those videos I'll link down below in case you missed them, but yes. Four of the nine books are for our year -thon theme, which is next week. Um, starting on Monday, so if I don't read them next week, I probably won't get to them in the month But let's just get straight into them since there are a lot The first book that I want to read is actually going to be our group read for the week Which again starts on Monday. I will link all of the a year -thon information down below and we will be reading Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I think I wanted to read this for a year -thon last year and I didn't because I'm terrible so I don't know much of the Peter Pan story. I know I've watched the Disney movie, but not recently enough for me to remember it. So I definitely want to read this again and then watch the Disney adaptation. So Peter Pan. And I picked up a book that I bought for an English class I was taking, and that is 100 Best Loved Poems, edited by Philip Smith. So this just has some popular poems in it. I think Shakespeare, Edgar Allan Poe, Robert Frost. Um, there is just a lot of different poets, some that I have read, some that I haven't. So it's just a quick little book that I thought I could pick up and read throughout the week, um, or even throughout the month. So looking forward to getting into this. And then hopefully I can get to these two. I picked up The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I think this was on my 17 books to read in 2017. And then also Cinderella, which I picked up to read last month and didn't get to. I feel like this fits the whole classic theme, so. Hopefully I can get to these two, well these four, but I don't know what next week has in store yet. So Last month I read City of Bones with my friend Keisha, and this month we will be reading City of Ashes. I have not read this book before, and I don't think she has either. Um, so I'm really curious to see where the story goes and where it continues, and I think even next month we're going to keep reading with the series with City Glass and so on. So looking forward to this. Don't know where the series is going to go. Kind of left off uneasy for me, so I'm interested to see how it continues. I would also like to read You by Charles Benoit? Benin? I'm not sure. A friend of mine lent this to me. Well, I guess I could say my friend Madison lent this to me. I know she watches my videos, so thank you, Madison. I'm very looking forward to reading this. Um, it is very spaced out. I think it's going to be a really quick read. I think it's mysterious. I've been afraid to read into it because I don't want to kind of hype myself up or spoil myself for it, so I want to go into it blind, and I'm really excited to read it. I'm also giving myself a second chance on Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Last month I said if I didn't read it in March, I would unhaul it, but I did get sick for two weeks and I wasn't reading at all, so it would have been the next book that I read had I finished City of Bones sooner, but I ran out of time. So I am going to read it, and if I don't read it in April, then I'm out of excuses and I'm out of saves. Then it's gotta go. Also for my TBR last month is The New Hunger and the Browning World by Isaac Marion, the novella and sequel to Warm Bodies. I did read reread Warm Bodies in March, so I'd really like to continue on with the series and see how it continues and where the world goes. I'm not even sure if it follows the same characters or not, but I hope it does. So, I hope so. I don't know. I know I'm setting myself up to fail, but I have very high ambitions and very high hopes and I can't help that. So if you've read any of the books that I talked about, please let me know what you thought of them down below and which ones I should try and get to first. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Bye.